Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we will be talking about the brand new Samsung Notes. Now, I'm glad that they updated Samsung Notes because this is something that I use almost on a daily, regular use. Uh, and the cool thing is that it did not really come with Samsung One UI 2.5. My Galaxy S20 Ultra is not updated yet to 2.5, but it does have the updated Samsung Notes. Now, to kind of give a quick comparison, versus the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Uh, let's say that we go inside of Samsung Notes. Uh, one of the first things that you will notice with this newer version is that icon for PDF. You're, it's a way that you're able to open up any PDF that is saved on your phone. You're able to make changes, you can, you can write, you can also highlight things, uh, and it's not gonna be over on this older version. Now, when you take a look at both of these phones, you can see that there's 50 notes here and then that there's 51. And you'll also notice these little uh, white dots. Basically, these white dots mean that they are using the old version of Samsung Notes. So the one thing I do wanna show you is on that menu on the top left, you can see all of the notes and you can see old formatted notes. So again, these are all synced through Samsung account. So all these notes are on this phone, but they're in the old format. You are able to change any of those if you wanted to. Now inside of settings, before we actually go inside and take notes, I wanna show you a couple things inside of settings. So you can take a look at your note style. So one of the things that is new and improved is these individual pages, which is really cool. You'll see that here in just a second. If you don't like the individual pages, you can put it back to that infinite scrolling page, which is what the old notes used to have. Now you have page template. You can change and move and, and choose any of these ones here if you wanna have a different background. Now the default is gonna be black and that's really only because I'm using dark mode. If I was using regular light mode or default mode, this would actually be a white page. Now moving back one more time. You can also look right here for that note unlock method. So if you have any type of notes that are locked, you can change uh, which way you would like to unlock it. So as of right now, it's used with a, with a pin. I can move it over into fingerprint. And then this is where you can convert your old notes. So if you'd like to have your old notes moved over into this new style version, you can do that just by sim you know simply hitting on that button. So let's go through and let's play a little bit with the brand new Samsung notes. So I'm gonna bring down the keyboard. Let's move this out of the way and let's get going. So here you can see that little page break. So this is what we're talking about from before. Uh, if you'd like to have that infinite scrolling, you are able to change it. So right now it's just gonna show two different pages. It doesn't need to show more than what is already here. Uh, if you'd like to switch it over into drawing, you're gonna have this little icon on the bottom. So that is for drawing, and then this is for your keyboard. Once you hit the keyboard, obviously the keyboard will come up. So here we go, we're gonna draw there. We're also gonna draw here. And before you notice that there was only two pages, now that I used the second page, now we do have that third page. Now, one thing that I also do wanna show you here is that you can see that I'm switching between using my pen uh, and then using my finger. Now, if you like to hit on this icon here, you are able to switch it over inside of like finger mode. So this way, if you still wanted to use your S Pen, uh, you're able to switch between that, uh, unless if you are pretty fluent with moving between your fingers and the S Pen. Now let's talk a little bit about erasing something. So I wanna get rid of a few things down here. Now there is icons down here that I am manually able to change. Uh, but if you wanna know a couple hidden features, I'm gonna show it right now at the beginning of this video. When you hit on this button once, it will change between your favorite pens. Now I'll show you a little bit more about the favorite pens here in just a second and how you can you know set these up. But if you do a double press, you're now switching over to the other utensil or utility of eraser. Uh, now, let's say that we move on up. Uh, if you do wanna go back over inside of your drawing, again, a double press, moved it right back to that last utensil that you just got done using. Uh, and just to kind of show you what it looks like when you do switch between your favorite pens, I hit it once, and now you can see that it did change. Now, the other thing that you are able to do if you don't wanna do a double press of switching the utility, let's say that we move it back to that pen. Uh, if you were to do a press and hold and then swipe on the screen, this is now acting as a eraser. So if you don't wanna do, again, a, a double press, sometimes it's a little bit harder for people to do that uh, every single time uh, flawlessly, then you are able to press and hold and then you can erase. So just a couple different ways that you're able to maneuver around all of these uh, utensils. So if we move down over here, let's say that we go to this pen here. So this one's a regular pen. Uh, let's go over to a different color. Let's do this, this tan color. Let's go to something pretty thick. Now, if this is something that I like and something I would use all the time, I would hit on favorite. 
now it's going to be over here in this favorite page so this is going to be showing me you know which pen that's going to switch so i have a calligraphy pen a regular pen of marker I have a highlighter things like that if you do want to add another one you can just simply go through this way so then this way if you know exactly which pens you are going to use you don't have to do it uh, just kind of on the spur of the moment i'm going to go over here hit on done then now you can see it's added on the bottom any of these that you just want to delete hit hit then you hit undone and that's pretty much it for uh, anything now the nice thing about it too is that if you're inside of these highlighters and marker section if you would like to use any of these as a as a favorite just hit on that favorite button here which is that star and it's going to put it all in this one list so this one list of nine favorite pens is a combination of the first utility and the second utility which is pens and then highlighters and markers now we talked a little bit about switching all the pens, using erasers, things like that. Uh, when you do go into that eraser mode, really all you gotta do, so let's say that I put in a couple extra lines. So if I was to go right here with this eraser, it's gonna erase that entire complete line. Uh, so it's not just gonna erase that small little area that you put it into, it's gonna really take it back uh, what you just got done drawing. It's very similar to this back button here. If there's any of these that you would like to go back and forth between what you were drawing, uh, what you erased, things like that. So we're going to go right here. We pretty much have our empty page again. Now, if you guys do appreciate this video, if you guys love tips and tricks and tutorials about using your Samsung Galaxy devices, don't forget to hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. Now, if you don't want it to be the little stroke of the eraser like this, if you do want it to be that filled in area, so let's just say that we were to draw something else right here. If you double click on that, you can go to eraser area and then you can choose how big of an eraser size you want. So this way, if there is a small spot that you needed to get and clean out, you're able to do that. Uh, if you don't like to have that eraser area, again, you can move it over to the stroke. So it's the entire line, the stroke of what you just got done doing. Now this next icon right here is gonna be your selection mode. So let's go through over here. Uh, this one's actually supposed to be black, but because I'm in dark mode and it has black in the background, um, it's gonna be putting it up as white. So I'm gonna do something like this. Now for this free form, let's just say the lasso. Again, uh, rectangle is gonna select the whole thing. Let's just do lasso. So I'm gonna circle this piece right here. It's gonna take that one and only piece. Uh, if I did it right up here for that small area, which I guess I can do that and show you, it's not gonna choose this big piece. It's gonna choose this one here. I can cut it, copy, uh, I can paste it, delete it. I can also change the style, convert it to text, straighten it, uh, show clipboard. I can move it forward, move it backwards. So right now this is actually on top of that. I can move it backwards. So now it looks like it's supposed to be underneath it. So it's gonna be really cool if you're somebody who is really good at drawing. Uh, and then when you move things around, uh, it's also gonna help you if you're somebody who is writing. So let's move down here and I'm gonna say, uh, uh, actually let's go over into the drawing um, or writing. So I'm gonna say hello. And then I'm gonna say, what's up so you can tell that these are not straight at all now if i select this that entire area that i just got done writing it just straightened every single thing out which is something that is super helpful if you're somebody who is always writing and you're kind of going at a little angle just tap on this icon here it's a way that you're able to have it straightened now this next icon over here is going to be a way that you're able to convert your handwriting to text so we're inside of our pen uh, i'm just going to write something down so let's do one two three nine and then david and i have chicken scratch i don't really have that good of uh, handwriting so we're gonna go here uh convert it and there we go so if you're writing something down uh you're better at you know maybe putting your thoughts on the from pen to paper you're able to do it this way you can always convert it at any point again here's your back and forward now this thing is actually pretty cool. This is changing of the styles. So I'm gonna go up over here and you can see that there's a couple things written. So for changing of the styles, I'm gonna double press. I'm gonna switch it over into blue. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna highlight anything I'd like to change. So you're changing the style. So if you're writing some things, you need to change a couple colors, you're maybe doing some drawing, uh, then you're able to switch things like this. If you feel for some reason that it'll look a little bit better uh, by doing something like this, you're able to do that. It's all 100% creativity. It's a way that you're able to change something without having to erase the entire thing. If, if, you, if you wrote this thing perfect, or if you drew something and you can never draw it that good again, but you needed to change the color, this is the best thing that you're able to do. So now with this next one, I'm just gonna scroll it on down just a little bit. 
and we're going to go to this next icon which is going to be the easy writing pad so this is a way that it's going to align and straighten everything for you uh, so with this one over here i'm going to switch it over into a regular pen we'll do yellow something that's not so thick um, we're going to say hello and you can see it's putting it right there it's going to automatically move for you and you just say how are you and you can see that even my writing isn't that great but it's going to keep everything in this little box that little line area uh, as long as you can you know write everything inside of here uh, now as we scroll on down on this side you're going to have this very last one which is a way that you're able to have like perfect lines let's see what it's called uh, it's auto fix shapes so if i was to draw a line you can see it's going to make it a little bit better uh, this is the best little uh, square i can do i kind of put it as a, a slant Let's see if it'll make a perfect little square. Okay, not really that great. Again, my drawing is horrible, but this is able to make it look just a little bit better. So, so this actually looks really cool. I would probably cut this area out right here and say that I specifically meant to put that little cool looking eye. So we've covered everything from the past page. We covered everything here on the bottom. Again, this will just pull up your keyboard. This one's gonna be switching it from basically your, your S Pen over into like a finger mode. You can attach and insert certain things. You can attach your images, PDFs, a drawing, uh, voice recording. So this way, if you wanted to draw and speak at the same time, you can do that as well. Uh, audio file and a text box. Then this one over here is gonna be share. You can save as file. You can sort the pages. So if you notice that some of these pages are not really in the order of what you would like, you can move all of these around. So this way it's supposed to be the way that it is. Uh, and now we're just gonna head on back. And then on the top right hand side again, so we already did the sort pages. You can also do page template, which we showed on a previous screen. You can change it here. You can also change your background color. So right now we are set up for that dark mode. It would normally be white uh, if, it, if we were not on dark mode, but you can switch it inside of here if you want it to be completely different colors. There's a lot that you can choose from. It actually looks pretty cool. For a couple of these lines and things that you write, it will kind of change the way that it does look uh, just to make it, you know, make a little bit more sense. And then you also have add to favorites, add tags. So it's really easy for you to find this note again later on. And then your finger drawing on, which is that little icon that we have right here. Now, this is really everything I wanted to cover for this video is pretty much hopefully as in depth as you would need. Uh, maybe you're brand new to the Galaxy Note series and you just want to know what all this stuff does uh, and you haven't really played with it. So I just played with it for you. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Did you know if you hit that thumbs up button, it also turns blue. You can subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.